Hello and welcome to webmastercampus.com. In this tutorial, we are going to learn JavaScript output. Okay, when you develop a code, write some application, building, testing, okay, or learning JavaScript, you need to output your code or result to see is it functioning or not. So for this person, we use JavaScript output. So let's understand this. Let's create an index.html file and Okay, and I'm going to write down a code, very pretty simple code. Okay, and this, let's execute this. So we have four ways to display the code. First way is console.log. Okay, and the second way we can use window.alert. Okay, this is the second way. Then we are going to learn the third way in our HTML. This is another way in our HTML is the other way then you can directly write document dot write these are the four ways we are going to take an example for this so console dot log window dot alert in our html and all of this so let's open the script tag and write down and understand this first of all the console dot log okay so console dot log we can write any statement if we want to see sum of four plus five okay it will be a result and in this one let's write down four plus uh five let's do this in another bracket so this will generate a result and i just write down this going to inspect developer tool and here we go so you can see four plus five okay and its result is nine you can see the output is nine so this is how we can generate the result the next option is window.alert you can write window.alert or just write down the alert it will also work so window.alert and in window.alert uh, this is a tutorial tutorial about javascript output so i just write down this and when i click on save this you can see it is generated a alert pop-up we usually avoid using uh, window.alert because it is irritating sometimes if you have multiple values so it's always a show a pop-up where you have to click on okay something like this so it is a problem now learn about the inner html and this for this one i'm going to write down a div tag and div tag id is result okay and now how we can do this we can just write down document dot result dot get element by id and get element by id i will give the name of the id which is result and in this one we will write inner html in an html uh, we will say learning javascript inner html uh, property okay so you can see first we need to click on this and then their messages uh, just pop up because we have written this in the javascript i'm going to disable it otherwise it will keep popping up on our screen okay and next and the final option is document dot write okay so document dot write you can even write down a message using document dot write displaying displaying message okay so you can see we, this method just appear we usually avoid this because uh, it's directly right on the on your screen or your page this can be a problem if you forget to uh, write down or miss this in your production file so it will be an error so uh, this the only way we uh, love to write down either use the console.log to see your result in the developer or the console window or you can use document.write.getElementById.innerHTML so this is the finest way to do this okay so we have just learned uh, how we can output the javascript result or the program code uh, console.log window.alert inner html document dot right thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe my channel